Today we are setting out to explore three of Canada's most famous lakes. If you're new here, welcome! We are Jacob and Jenny and we have been traveling the world full time for a year. We hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to join us on our worldwide adventures. We are still in Banff, Canada, and today we're going on a Chinese tour. <laughs> there was no other like, it's a long story. Basically getting to Moraine Lake is kind of complicated. So the only way we could do it is if we went on a three lake tour. So today we're going to Lake Louise, Moraine Lake, and Emerald Lake. We'll see which one's the best. We're now at Lake Louise. For the second time. <laughs> we made a whole video about our first time at Lake Louise where we did the hike all the way to the end. But this time we're not doing that since we're going to three other lakes today. Also, on the way here, I saw a moose. I didn't get to film it though because it happened like in one second. But it was really cool. It was trotting across the river. I was asleep. <laughs> so I I didn't get to see anything. I wanted to wake him up, but it would have been too late. And we're here at the lake. That is an easy picture spot. That's why there's so many people there. And over there you can rent canoes. And we are gonna walk this way so that there's less people over here. The last time we were here, it was cloudy pretty much the entire day. But while we're here, it is sunny and the water is more blue than we ever saw it the last time. It is so, so, so blue and so beautiful. I think I like Lake Louise better this time than the last time for sure. Since the last time we walked around, this time we honestly just like sat on this little bench here and just relaxed and stared at the lake and it was honestly so beautiful and nice and lovely. Here is the Fairmont Chateau on Lake Louise. It is so beautiful and huge and so expensive. We're on our way back to the bus to go to Moraine Lake. We could have taken the Lake Connector shuttle. It's a free shuttle from Lake Louise to Moraine Lake. Unfortunately, the only way that it's free is if you go to the park and ride and pay for the shuttle to Lake Louise. And we don't have a car to go to the park and ride, so we the couldn't even the best we, could do. we couldn't even do that. So this tour is the only way that we could actually get to the lake and we get to go to Emerald Lake too. Which I'm pumped about because I actually really want to go to Emerald Lake. I just didn't think that we would have time, but now we do. Moraine Lake. We finally made it to Moraine Lake. We have been trying to get here for a very long time. We've been trying to figure it out and we finally did it. So I want to give you a quick tour. Over here, there is a lodge, Moraine Lake Lodge, I believe. And then apparently the best view of Moraine Lake is to climb up this giant rock pile. So I guess we're gonna go climb up the giant rock pile. Go into the rock pile. That's quite steep. My legs are burning. There was like five different trails you could take, so we just picked one. And you can see the lake. <laughs> it's very deep blue. Oh my gosh, this blue is electric. Alright, Moraine Lake definitely has my vote. This is the most beautiful lake I honestly have ever seen in my entire life. It is stunning. I would stay here all day if I could. There's like little kayaks and canoes you can rent down there. You could probably even bring your own and just get out on the lake. It is so blue. It is like the Caribbean water. So if it was up to me, if I had to choose between Moraine Lake and Lake Louise, I would one 
thousand percent choose Moraine Lake. Look at this view and there's way less people here than Lake Louise. I don't know how Lake Louise got so popular, but Moraine Lake is definitely the better choice. But it depends on what you want out of a lake. I think with Lake Louise, there's a lot more to do there. Like there's a ton of hikes you can do. There are a couple hikes you can do at Moraine Lake, but Lake Louise definitely has a lot more options. This one, if you just want to stare at it, yes, Moraine Lake, definitely way better than Lake Louise. We're supposed to go back to the bus now, but I really don't want to. It's just so pretty. As we were walking up the trail, this guy passed us and he said, it's a steep hike, but it's totally worth it. It's the best view in the world. And me and Jacob like laughed and we were like, yeah, right. No, he was 100% right. We now get to go to Emerald Lake. We get to cross from Alberta to British Columbia where we were in Whistler and Vancouver. This is gonna be really cool because we're going to a different national park, Yoho National Park. Real quick, if you've been watching any of our September videos, you know that we are doing a September giveaway where half the money goes to you, one of our subscribers, and half of the money goes to Feed My Starving Children, a charity that we love. If you wanna enter the giveaway, the full rules will be in the description below and the winner will be announced at the end of September. We are on our way to Emerald Lake, but we made a quick stop at Lake Louise Ski Resort. Looks pretty cool out there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. So the mountains, way up there. And of course we had to get poutine. I mean, I think we're leaving Canada soon, aren't we? So we had to get it one last time. Mm -hmm. I love you, poutine. You gotta eat it fast before the gravy soaks into the fries and makes them soggy. Oh my gosh, that was such a big bite. Mm. These might be the best fries we've had. Back on the bus to Emerald Lake. We're walking up on the lake right now. We only have about 20 minutes here, so we're trying to get in the best possible view that we can. But so far, it looks... I think Lake Louise is the worst one. Oh yes, I did change shirts, by the way. It was getting a little smelly. Oh. of these lakes just keep getting better and better. There's two sides to Emerald Lake and there's this bridge in between which cars actually go on. Personally, I like this side better, but most of the people are taking pictures on this side. Per usual, at the lakes you can rent like canoes or kayaks and just paddle out. There's also some people over on this side that just brought their own sup and they're just paddling around out there. All these lakes are amazing and we still are going to see a natural bridge. We're now at Kicking Horse Natural Bridge. Wow. Let's see. Well, okay, first Emerald Lake. There were at least like two hiking trails you could go on. I don't know if there was as much stuff to do as the other two lakes, but it was, it was great. There like was a cute little lodge too and a restaurant overlooking the lake. Honestly, if you have to choose, I would choose Emerald Lake or Moraine Lake far before I would ever go to Lake Louise. It's just Lake Louise is so much more accessible to, and a lot more hiking trails there, a lot more to do. So that's why it's popular. But it, I mean, it looks great too. I said it's just... I would go to Lake Louise last, like a few minutes ago, and this lady turned around and she was like, oh my gosh, same. Lake Louise was the worst out of all three. And I was like, power sister. But they're all good. All of them are good. They're all amazing. They really are. Okay, now for the natural bridge. walk on it which I thought we were gonna be able to. So it looks like that's the bridge right there. The water's going underneath the rocks and it's flowing out into there. This natural bridge used to be a waterfall until a lot of the rocks caved in and then the water started flowing underneath the rocks. It's called Kicking Horse Natural Bridge because a guy had a couple of his horses was taking it across the bridge and one of them happened to fall in so he named it Kicking Horse Natural Bridge. Uh, so I guess you can stand over on that part, but I wouldn't recommend trying to cross it. Probably fall in easily. 